What's good, Charm City crew? My name is Matt. I am a shoe collar worker here at Charm City Run. We are the soul of the city, and we have all the hottest takes on the latest and greatest in the running world. You guys already know it's 2021. Get out, get active, and first things first, I would like to congratulate Rachel in Baltimore. Congratulations, Rachel. You have won the shoe to charm your socks off from November. That was the Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 38. And we will be contacting you shortly on how to receive your free pair of Nike Air Zoom Pegasus and getting that fitting with me. So if you guys watching at home would like the chance to win uh, the shoe that we're going to be showing this month, make sure you watch to the end of this video for a chance to win. So without further ado, let's look at a shoe to charm your socks off. All right, on this month's episode of Shoes to Charm Your Socks Off, we have the Ultra Provision 6. So this is going to be a stability shoe. So as you can see, it's got that little stability piece on the inside there. It is part of their guide rail system. Uh, and this is gonna be a really great uh, lightweight road shoe. Uh, wouldn't be my first pick for the trail shoe. Uh, if you're looking for a good trail shoe from Ultra, I would check out their Lone Peak. Excellent, excellent trail shoe. Uh, this one's going to be lightweight, but still nice and plush. It is their full max cushion shoe, uh, and they actually made it a little bit lighter on this iteration as well. Uh, it is 10.1 ounces for a men's size 9, so pretty lightweight for your max cushion shoe, and they really distribute that weight well evenly because of that full foot shape that we have come to know with Ultra. So, breaking down the shoe a little bit, let's go from the bottom up. So. First off, looking at our outsole here, uh, you're going to have that foot pod outsole with very, very nice traction. Um, this is probably, I would say, the best uh, gripping shoe that we've reviewed this year. Um, when you start walking in it for the first time, you can actually feel the grips and the traction with every step you take. It's pretty incredible. Uh, plus, with having the full force and weight of your whole foot reaching out and spreading across the whole floor or ground that you're on, you can just feel all of that traction. Uh, of course, you do have the foot shape. This is Ultra. Um, they're going to be getting that whole uh, foot splay in there. So nice wide toe box. And let's go to our midsole. So midsole is going to be that Ultra Ego Foam. Uh, it's nice and plush, nice and soft, but it is not mushy. Uh, earlier iterations of that were a little bit softer and squishier, but I think they've firmed it up nicely to where you get a good responsive feeling with it still being a cushy shoe. Um, another really cool thing is going to be these uh, grids that you have that go down the shoe, and that just adds a little bit of extra flexibility and movement to the foot as you're pressing off with each step. And if you notice, they actually follow the lines of all of your metatarsals in your foot so that it does naturally bend and flex with your foot as well. I love that Ultra is always thinking with running naturally. Um, you also know that Ultra is going to be that zero drop feeling, that balanced, even cushion system. So really everything they're doing is just helping you express that natural movement in this shoe. Uh, moving up to the top sole. We are going to have uh, a switch from the engineered knit that they had in the previous model to more of an engineered mesh, a little bit lighter, a little bit breathable. Um, a lot of the shoes have switched from the knit to the mesh this year. It's just overall, I think, a better, more breathable material up there. Um, you have your nice Achilles piece on the back here, and it kind of flares away from the heel to give it some support, but it's not going to be bugging that Achilles tendon. And then Another really cool aspect that I like is it's got these straps on the inside of it as well. And those medial straps are actually going to help enhance the stability aspect of this shoe. So really the shoe comes with that guide rail there that provides a touch of guidance, a touch of stability. Uh, but when you have those straps there, the tighter you make the shoe, you can actually adjust for how much stability you want. So if you're a neutral runner, you can wear this shoe and maybe don't tighten the laces up so much and you'll be all right in it. But if you really want to get the most out of this shoe and the most stability possible, I would just tighten that shoe up and those straps are going to help keep you from overpronating so much. Um, so going further, uh, the notable improvements, this shoe did get lighter, um, went down to 10.1 ounces. Like I said, uh, I think it was at 10.5 previously. It's definitely less bulkier. 
It used to be definitely a lot more of a brick type of a shoe. It's really nice to wear around now. Feels like just an extension of your foot. Other improvements that came from it, it did get a little bit slimmer. So kind of like we saw with the Rivera earlier this year, Ultra is really trying to bring non-Ultra fans or those that haven't discovered Ultra yet into the brand. And so I think they're doing it by slimming up the shoe a little bit because when people immediately see that wide shoe, they don't know what to think of it. So a great example of how to make this an all-encompassing shoe is to slim it down just a little bit. They're still true to their brand by giving a wide toe box, but it's something that's more universal for everyone who wears it now. Uh, they also did take a little bit down from that guide rail. It used to be a lot more built up. Now I would say if you need a shoe that's got more stability in the Ultra lineup, you're going to want to go with the Paradigm. This is going to be more of your medium to light level of stability. So from there, I would say uh, the drop, of course, is going to be zero. Ultra is all about running natural. Uh, the price is a nice $140 range, excellent for a maximum cushion shoe. Most of them tend to be in the 150 to 160 range, so you're really getting a deal with this one. Things I would compare it to, um, Brooks Launch GTS, uh, the Asics GT2000, and the OnCloud Flyer. So without further ado, I'd like to kick it to a fellow shoe collar worker. Her name is Dre, and she really loves the Ultra Provision. I know she's also worn the Paradigm in the past as well. So she's got some good insight on what the differences have been in different iterations and how she feels about the two shoes. So uh, without further ado, Dre, I'd like to kick it off to you. Let's run it. Hey guys, it's Dre. I'm here to talk about the Provision, one of my most favorite shoes so far. One of the reasons I'm really liking it is the feel of the cushion. This updated version, I put it on and immediately felt like I was walking on a pillow. I've had the Paradigm, the higher stability, higher cushion shoe, and it didn't feel as good as this feels for me as far as the cushion goes. The Provision still has some stability and I feel it working as I'm walking in the shoe and immediately when I put it on, which is also something I like. I feel like the shoe fits like a glove. It's comfortable running even though it's a zero drop shoe. I have had zero issues with cramping in my feet, toes going numb because of the wide toe box, which is something I've had problems with in the past. So all around, this shoe has been an improvement from um, my last pair and I'm gonna keep running in it. Thank you, Dre, for that awesome analysis. So the Ultra Provision 6 is going to be the shoe to charm your socks off this month. So let us know in the comments below, will you and the Provision be soulmates? Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment below on your thoughts on the Ultra Provision 6. And before we go, we are going to be doing another free shoe giveaway this month. So if you would like your chance to win a free Ultra shoe and a fitting with me, Make sure you like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you leave that comment. That's how we get in touch with you. And like I said, you get the chance to try out this really cool shoe or another really great shoe from Ultra. Until the next one, Charm City crew, live, give, run. That's the mantra. Let's run it.